Not Jersey here. <laughs> be quiet. Okay. Uh, hello everyone. Jersey here, and today we're be gonna we're gonna be playing a short horror game. It's like a text game that I'm actually playing in the browser. So it's called Mary's Hair. It's supposed to be like a short text game. So I press the start button. This no, is like the first page. It wasn't on the camera. Okay, yeah, that's my friend Eileen over there. So she just existing and petting my cat. So she'll, she'll just be back there. Uh, you'll probably see her do something weird in the background. And if you're going to do that, just do it quietly. Um. So anyway, I've actually been drinking some beer. But it's not actually beer. It's actually... Uh, it's it says non-alcoholic soda there. If you, I don't... I don't know! So, you could probably see it there, but yeah, it's not actual beer, of course. I made him, I made him have a mohawk or something. So, anyway, the rabbit still breathes, barely. The rope holding the snare is weak. It could chew through if it tried, if it wasn't so afraid. Okay, so I guess I click the letter, or the, the word. Instead, it rises and screams and squirms. Okay. Yeah, that rabbit looks pretty shook, honestly. Ugh! Oh, look how ugly this rabbit looks! Like, look at his eyeball! It doesn't even look like handsome. It's a rabbit! Why would it look like my cat? Because it's great. <laughs> Mary leans over. The sight's so pitiful, it breaks her heart. She wants to let it go. Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. But her insides growling process? It's so frightened. Oh no, she gonna eat this thing? At least cook it. It's been days, weeks since they've had meat and the crops have been so withered and dry. <laughs> Look how it looks like a rat. Oh my gosh. Is there music? I don't want to get jump scared. <laughs> I don't know. Um, it fights still, but it's getting weaker and weaker. She wanted to start family for so long. How can she when she wastes away? It's her or the hair. The hair or a baby. There's no choice at all. Dang, that that's kind of... I don't like where this is going. She's gonna eat it or something's gonna... Oh, I heard it cracking so... The in, they enjoy the evening silence. Full on rabbit stew and content for the first time that they can remember. Well, I guess that's nature. As they bask in the glow of the fireside, Mary looks at her husband, the light dancing across his eyes. Something's gonna happen. It's the first time he's looked at her like that in so long. Oh, okay. Nausea, oh no. Nausea yanks her out of sleep, but she tries to wait out. Was the, was the rabbit like poisoned or like rabies? The mornings are getting colder and she is loath to get out of bed, but no luck. The sickness gnaws at her until she stumbles out of bed. I don't like where this is going, girl. She, she, the rabbit was probably diseased or something. She doesn't make it far. The stew, it must have been the stew that made her sick. The meat was so tender and rich. Maybe it's maybe she's going through one of the things that, like, you know when people don't have, yeah, like, a certain... For a long time. Like, they can't eat it anymore. But it can't be. Wasn't that days ago? Oh, no. Karma. Mary crawls back to bed. Her head spinning and stays there. She sweats and aches. And her belly swells. Oh, no! Wait, is the rabbit alive? It would just be like... <laughs> no, that... Oh, no. <laughs> Yo, I just... A cause for celebration, isn't it? But she lays there and the fever ha Oh, it's so annoying. And the fever dreams haunt her until the screams shake her from sleep. Over and over and over. The pain is so strong she doesn't know if she'll make it. Is she giving birth? I, I, don't, I doubt it. She calls for her husband, but there is no answer. She screams until her throat is hoarse and still there's no answer. Somehow panting, she drags herself out of bed. Her legs wobble. She fights to keep her knees from giving out as she makes her way across the room. A sharp pain sears through her. I, I don't like where this is going. Ugh! Oh, she got her period. Well, that's what happens. The, <laughs> the doctor. Call the doctor. The, well, she's already... The doctor is apologizing. His hand covered in blood and gore. It was too light. There was nothing... That he could have done to have saved it. She should have been glad to have survived. Wait, what? 
Oh, was she giving birth? His bloody hands cradle something small. That what what was to be her baby? Did she give birth to like a monster rabbit baby? Her his eyes are sapphires and but he takes a closer look. Rabbit actually have a baby? No, like, no, not the rabbit. I don't know. Like, she gave birth to a rabbit thing. Maybe the rabbit had a baby, and then the baby still lived, and somehow survived. But it's attached to. You know, never mind. Doctor runs out without another word. His bloody hands clapped over his throat to keep himself from being sick. Mary, Mary barely notices and closes her eyes. When she wakes, there's a faint pink stain on the floor and the sheets under her feel stiff and smell of something acrid and foul. She sleeps deeply at long last, but not for long. The screams cut through her dreams again and bile rises in her when she wakes. So soon again, her belly grows. What? What? Oh! (laughs) But how? This time, the midwife is called and she isn't afraid. The midwife stays with her. More doctors are called to observe the curiosity as she delivers bundle after bloody bundle. She just... What? A marvel. A freak. They examine her stillborn children, some with wonder in their eyes and others with a shudder, crossing themselves as though somehow her stillborn babes could hurt them. Like, what? Eventually the blood stops. She hasn't taken a meal in weeks but the taste of rabbit stew still rises in the back of her tongue mixing with the acrid bile that always hovers there the doctors have gone away though the midwife still comes in to check on her her husband she can barely remember his face when was the last time she saw him maybe the husband poisoned her but i doubt it (laughs) The days go by and her breathing shallows and her tongue tastes of sand. She shrivels up everywhere, her skin stretched so thin it hurts. Everywhere except... Oh, impossibly, her belly stays round, insatiable, insatiable, can't speak. As though it's sucking out the fat, the blood, the life from the rest of her. Look at that! It's disgusting! I mean, I feel bad for her, but dang... But there are no more babies coming. She doesn't have the strength. She fights for her last breath, remembering the rabbit in the snare, eyes wild, tugging as it chokes, screaming and gasping. She thinks she must look the same now, were there anyone to watch, if only she knew. Like, I guess she's. Are coming out. The rabbits, like she was buried, and then like, the rabbits are just like coming out of her. Maybe she's made out of rabbits. I don't wait, but why? I. What? I don't. This is so weird. I don't know what to think of that. I'm just so curious. Like, what? What did? What? Why? That's that's really creepy. I don't. I don't like that. Um, but that that was really interesting, actually. But uh, anyway, that was a interesting ride. Don't you think, Eileen? That was what, a creepy ride. What, wasn't that a nice I've bedtime never story? I am. Uh, rabbit ever again? Uh, yeah, handsome. Wasn't that a nice bedtime story? <laughs> yeah, you could tell that one to your children. Um, yeah, I-, I don't know. Maybe if you guys have any theories, you could post it down in the comments. But I have no idea what, like, alien rabbit. I have no idea what. That was really disturbing. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching me play this weird thing. I don't know. I don't like it. It's disturbing. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. And uh, remember, feel burned.